Hello and welcome back everyone to the video series dedicated to CBS's Big Brother Season 22 All-Stars. Now, just like my previous videos, I'm going to do a review and recap to start off this video of the most recent episode of Big Brother. Then I will do a hand signal signifying we're going into live feed updates. We're going to be talking about spoilers, veto competitions, and all that other stuff. So let's start off where last episode left off, and that was having us in the middle of this HOH competition, this endurance HOH where people are hanging on this billboard, the last one standing on this billboard will be crowned HOH for the week. And the first person off 12 minutes into this competition is Davon. Now I wanted Davon to win this HOH and really shake up the house, but she through this HOH competition on purpose for strategic reasons. And the whole reason is that she is playing into a reputation that she doesn't win anything. And I think this is a great move because then she can integrate herself within the house. She's just coming off this block. There is a lot of spicy stuff that happened last week. And if she can integrate herself into this house without getting blood on her hands so soon after all the stuff that happened this week, it would be a perfect move for her. Now, David was off second, and then Ian was off third. They are the first three people off of this billboard, out of this game, and they are the have-nots for the week. It comes down to the final four, and that is Tyler, Danny, Cody, and Nicole. Now, Cody, Nicole, and Danny do not want to win this competition. The pickings are slim now. They are pretty much aligned with everybody within this house. Danny is only staying on long enough so that Tyler cannot win. Tyler falls off fourth. But Danny doesn't want to fall off too soon because she doesn't want to make it obvious that she was just holding on to see if Tyler would lose. And then Nicole falls, and then Cody falls, and then Danny is the one less standing. She wins HOH for the week. And she is excited. She is overwhelmed with emotion. She gets to see pictures of her daughter. She gets a letter from her husband. But now it's hitting her that she's going to have to put up two people on the block. And the only two people she's really not aligned with are Kevin and David. But because of everything that transpired with Tyler leaking the information that Danny was the one that wanted to take a shot at Devon and Bailey, Danny is thinking, what if I take a shot at Tyler? And Big Brother, this episode really plays up the Danny versus Tyler storyline. And she's thinking, hey, what if I put up Kevin and David as the original nominees and then the veto is used and we can put up Tyler and backdoor him out this week of course, her alliance of Cody and Nicole are kind of like, uh, maybe not, no, don't do that. Even Tyler is giving her the green light that, hey, if you put me up on the block or want to backdoor me, I totally understand. You never say that in the Big Brother house. That is just a rookie mistake that you don't do that. Don't ever say that in the Big Brother house. That just gives people like like the permission to, to backstab you. Don't ever do that. Well, when Rubber met the road at the nomination ceremony, Danny nominated David and Kevin up on the block, but we know that David has the disruptor power. He can take himself off the block and be safe for the rest of the week. Will he use it? We'll have to wait Tuesday night. But what do you think? Do you think he's gonna use the disruptor power to take himself off? Let me know that in the comment section below. What do you think about Danny being HOH? And what do you think about her plan about maybe wanting to backdoor Tyler? Let me know that in the comment section below. Now let's move into the live feed updates. And there is a lot to talk about from what happened throughout this week. Like I couldn't even believe that we were just watching the HOH competition finish up this past episode because of everything that's happening on the live feeds. But let's get into it. David did use his disruptor power. He took himself off the block and he saved himself, which is the number one good move in the game right now. The only critique I have about David using disruptor power is him lying about it. Um, he's trying to plant seeds that maybe Tyler had the power and he was using it to bring David closer into the fold with him and his alliance. Um, but you have to have self-awareness of yourself and your position in the game. And I think everybody in the house is not buying it. They're thinking that David definitely won and now he's just lying about it. The only person that would really save him besides himself would probably have been Davon, but she would have used the power last week to either save her or Bailey and then tried to win the veto. Um, so I think he should have just like embraced that he won, told everybody that he won and tell the story. And I think it would have gotten a little bit more of people on his side. Granted, it wouldn't have helped much because I think people would still be gunning for him. They have a big alliance already, and 
of course, Davon, David, and Kevin are really on the outs with Ian on the fringes, but he's also on the outs. And so with David off the block, Danny now has to nominate somebody else in his place and she decides to nominate Tyler. It's not a backdoor, he gets to play in the veto, and it kind of plays up the whole, hey, we had some beef the couple of weeks and now I'm putting you up on the block. Now let's move on to the players picked for the veto competition and the players picked are Danny, Tyler, Kevin, Devon, Enzo, and Ian. And the person who won the veto is Devon. This is the perfect case scenario in this game. Now David is safe for the rest of the week. Devon is safe for the rest of the week. And now she has the opportunity to save her number one friend and ally in the house, Kevin, and they all can be safe, forcing Danny to nominate her fourth person for a nominee this week and somebody that she is aligned with. They are going to have to take out somebody that she is aligned with and take out a number from the other side of the house. At this moment though, the veto ceremony has not happened and Danny, Cody, and Nicole have been scrambling for days now. They have been talking to Davon, David, and Kevin nonstop. They're trying to make Kevin feel safe, that hey, maybe convince Davon that to not use the power of veto, that you're gonna be safe no matter what. We're trying to get Tyler out of this house. They're talking game to David. Uh, people are trying to make Davon not use the power of veto, maybe say that she would have a lot of enemies in the house, that Kevin is safe no matter what. Tyler is the number one person that we want out of this house. And when David and Devon were having a very insightful conversation in the have not room, things were just not adding up. David was saying like everything that he's been observing for the past couple of weeks. And he was like, we can't trust Tyler. Um, he is really trying to play it off that he's the one leaving, but ultimately it's probably Kevin, the one that's going to leave this week. If he stays up on the block, we should use the power of veto. Maybe it would flush another superpower and we need to keep all the numbers on our side. So he is really for Davon using the power of veto and keeping Kevin in the game. So that way the three of them can go out for the next HOH competition, possibly win and take out more numbers on the other side of the house. Devon agrees and she said, I don't even care if I make more enemies in the house. At this point, they're probably gonna nominate me anyways, whether I use the veto or not. So at this point, I'm 95% sure that Devon will use the power of veto to save Kevin and Danny's gonna have to nominate somebody else. It could be Enzo, but it's most likely going to be Ian that's gonna be put up on the block next to Tyler. And if that's the case, come Thursday, I feel as though that Ian is going to be the one evicted and is going to be the first member of the jury. Um, Tyler's also been talking about how he is done with this game, that if he is the one going to be voted out this week and head to jury, that he's going to forfeit and he's just going to leave. And he's not even going to go to the jury house, which is pretty poor sportsmanship, in my opinion. Uh, you don't sign up for a game and then if you lose and you don't get where you want, whether it's pre-jury or winning, uh, that you just say, I'm done, I'm quitting, I'm throwing in the flag. That is just poor sportsmanship. I don't respect that at all. I would hope that even if he was backdoored, that he would just stay in the jury and crown the winner of the season, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, nothing is set in stone at the moment as the veto ceremony is gonna be later on today. Monday night or Monday evening, depending on where you're at and uh, what time zone you're watching the Big Brother live feeds. But that's just my piece about it. I really do hope she uses it. Really put pressure on the other side of the house and get them finally shaking and rocking and get this house starting to flip upside down. I love to see it. There's a lot happening, but what do you think is gonna happen this week? Let me know that in the comment section below. What do you think about Davon winning the power of veto? And do you think she'll use it? If she does, who do you think is going to be put up on the block next to Tyler? Let me know that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. While you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really, really soon with more Big Brother content, more content in general. But until then, peace.